Om Namah Shivaya. Greetings and Namaste. I'm Sydney Solis, and this is Storytime Yoga. Welcome. And this is my friend Raga. How you doing today, Raga? Oh, I'm just terrible, terrible. I suffer so much. I'm so sad. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? What happened? Oh, I've been wanting to play football my whole life, uh, and when I can't, I've got flat feet. It hurts so much. Oh, oh, I see. It hurts. Well, when you're practicing, oh, that's too bad. Oh, I dreamed of it my whole life. I know. I understand how you feel so terribly disappointed, but, uh, oh, what am I going to do? Well, why don't I tell you a story? Okay, thank you. This story comes from the Christian tradition and it's called The Three Trees. Once upon a time there were three trees growing on a hillside, reaching for the sky. And one day the three trees watched as a woodcutter came through and cut down trees. They were sent off and made into something else. Wow, they thought, one day we may die and turn into something else. The third tree was like, I don't want to die. I want to keep growing. Well, they all started dreaming about what they would be or what they would do in the future. And the first tree said, well, I want to be cut down and I want to be made into a treasure chest, man. I want to hold really nice shiny jewels and won't oh, that be great? That's what I want. That's my dream. And the second tree thought, well, I want to be a, a big, mighty ship. I want to cross the seas, and I want to carry a great king in my ship. That's what I want for myself. That's my dream. And the third tree thought, oh, well, I want to keep on growing, baby. I want to grow, 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 and reach for the sky. I want to be the mightiest, finest tree in the world. And when people look up to me, they will see the divine. So, the three trees, they dreamed on and they kept growing and growing and growing till one day the woodcutter came for them. Why, the first tree was like, oh, yes, uh, my dream will be answered. I'll be the finest treasure chest and carry amazing jewel diamonds, pearls. Thank you. And the second tree was like, oh, I'm so excited too. I'm going to carry mighty kinks. Oh, I will be so strong and powerful. And the third tree was like, oh, my dream won't come true. Oh, it's terrible dreams. That's all they are. And so with one fell swoop, sh 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 down they came. The trees, they were carried off. And the first tree, why, it was fashioned into a trough. A trough it became. My wood's a trough. I stink of animal hay and feed. It's just, oh, I'm in this barn. It's not what I dreamed of. This isn't fair. And the second tree, it was fashioned into a little boat, a fishing boat. Why, it was stuck in this little bay next to this fishing village. It was tiny and well, this isn't what I wanted. This is what I dreamed. Uh, I don't, I'm not happy. I'm suffering. Uh. And the third tree, well, it was cut up into some boards, and they threw it in a little room, and it remained really dark when they shut the door and closed the lock. It just sat there in the darkness for years. One day, a man and a woman they came to the first tree as a trough in the barn. The woman had a baby there. They put the little glowing babe into the trough. It was cleaned out and had blankets for the sweet babe. And the little tree, it knew, it knew that it held the greatest treasure. A treasure greater than anything on earth, heaven combined, something beyond everything that was happy. The second tree. Years later, after time passed, why, one day, a master and his twelve disciples got into the little boat, and off they sailed into the distant sea farther out. Well, the master fell asleep, but oh, 
why, a terrible storm. It swept up and, oh, the little boat, little tree, it was frightened. I, I've never carried this many people before. Oh, I might perish. Oh. And the twelve on board, they were scared, too. They said, wake up, master, wake up. And the master got up. He stood up and looked out over the waves, and he said, peace. And instantly, the waters were calmed. And the little tree it knew in its heart. I carry the king of kings, and it was happy. Time passed. There was a click at the door, and the little tree, inside that room, that dark room, there was light, the door opening, and it was like, oh, turned into a, a cross. They put a man, let him drag through the streets. He had a thorn or a crown. He dragged it through the streets, this cross, this tree, and they nailed it to him as they brought him to the hill and raised it up, raised that tree and the man on it. The little tree knew, it knew inside its heart. And now, when people look to it, to the man, they do see, they do know and feel the divine. And the tree, it was so happy. So, Raga, How'd you like that story? Oh, it was great. It was really nice. I, I'll just, there's something really good in store for me. I just have to keep going, yeah. That's right. You, you have no idea. We, we think one thing what we want, but the universe has something else waiting for us right now. That's right. And, oh, I'm, I'm studying my Chinese, and I make really good creme brulee. That's great. Develop all of your talents, and you never know. Maybe, maybe the obstacles are protection, or you may be able to play football just yet. Just walk barefoot as much as you can. Build up your arches. Build up your legs and feet and strength with yoga poses. Try tree pose. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. And most of all, just let go. Because, after all, you do get what you want. Just not the way you expected it. Oh, thank you. You're so very welcome. Tune in next time for another story on Storytime Yoga. I'm Sydney Solis. Namaste and have a magical day. Namaste.